Today I have for you three tips that will help you be more successful in your DevOps career, and they apply to any DevOps role. So let's get into it in this Three Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Carter Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And today is Friday, so welcome to a new episode of the Three Minutes series, where, as you know, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, and yet try to teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about how to be more successful at DevOps, and as I mentioned, I have for you three tips. Actually, I have four tips, so I have a bonus one at the end, stick around for that. And the good thing is that they apply at any stage or any role you are in your career. But let's start the clock and get into it. First tip is think out of the box, be a problem solver, be the person others look to when they need a solution for something. Many roles in IT benefits from this, but I find it especially useful when we talk about DevOps careers. You see, DevOps is a fairly complex discipline because it involves many moving parts and especially involves people, processes, and tools. So thinking out of the box means that you can find a solution or try to find a solution in a realm that is not exactly where the problem is. For example, if you find a problem with a tool, the solution may not be in a tool itself, but maybe changing the process around the tool. In another case, you can find a solution changing the culture or changing the mindset of the people in your team. This is usually what happens when you start looking at the bigger picture, you can start looking out of the box. And since DevOps is complex, and since DevOps is complex, you will need to have many solutions for many different problems and issues. So try to be the problem solver and this will help you in your career because you will progress, you will make more experience and you will be the reference for your colleagues and the team in solving problems and having solutions. And of course, that doesn't mean that you need to be the only problem solver in your team or your organization, but you providing those solutions for your team, being the problem solver, will also encourage other people to start thinking out of the box themselves. And in the end, you all as a team will progress in your career. And at the end of the day, you will bring more benefits doing DevOps to your whole organization. The second tip I have for you is to automate as much as possible, automate more. And this is because as I mentioned in the other video I made the other day, automation is one of the key components of DevOps. And of course, it's not the solution to every single problem, but the more you automate, the more time you have to focus on other problems and on other solutions. And also the more you automate, the less space for human error you have. Try not to fall in the trap to try and automate things you don't fully understand because that will never work. So before that, try to understand the process or the tool you're trying to automate and just then automate it. You need to consider how many times that task is performed in a specific period of time and how long it takes to be, uh, to be performed. For example, if you see that one task is performed once every six months, most likely, not never, but most likely is not worthy spending time on automating that task. But if instead it's something that is continuously done, uh, even maybe weekly or something like that, or even if it's done every six months, but then it takes a considerable amount of time to be executed manually, then it's something that you probably should automate. And finally, even though I said try to automate as much as possible, that doesn't mean that you have to automate everything. There are tasks that cannot be automated because of their nature, and also tasks that, as I mentioned, may not be necessary to automate. The third tip I have is always experiment. If you're doing something and it's already working, but you can see that you may be able to, to optimize that, to streamline more and so on and so forth, try to do that. Try to experiment with other tools, with other processes, with other people even. Experimentation usually brings a lot of results. May not be good results, meaning that maybe you're, you'll be failing, but then at least you know that you reach the maximum potential in this specific area or task. While in the other cases, you will succeed and the experimentation will bring positive results for you, your organization, your career. And experimentation also means try to see if there are other tools or other way to accomplish tasks you're already doing. Because most likely, there are areas that you can improve by changing a process, changing a tool, or even changing your mindset. You will never know though, unless you experiment. Try to have some pocket of time 
in which you can freely experiment, maybe with a side project, with, maybe with some uh, tool or process you want to implement, even for yourself, and you'll see that will be rewarding. Okay, those were the three tips I have. But as I said before, and as I promised, I do have a bonus tip for you. But before we move into that, you know, I spend a lot of time and effort doing those kind of videos. So I would really appreciate if you can, you know, like this video to show me you like it and you find it valuable. And of course, this will also help this video to be spread to more people so they can benefit from it. Thank you. All right, the bonus tip is try to focus more on people and processes, not just on tools. Because you see, as I mentioned also before, DevOps is all about people and processes and only in tools in the end. People and processes are more important. So when I say try to focus more on people and processes, what I mean is try to focus on how you can make the life of the people easier in what they do, and also how you can optimize the processes you have in your organization. These two parts are really, really important. And you will see that if you focus on those things as well, not only your career will be better, you will be more rewarded as a DevOps practitioner, but also in the end, your organization will have higher benefits from the DevOps adoption. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about these three tips and if you agree with me or if you have any other tips you can share with the community about getting better at DevOps and getting more successful at DevOps. And finally, check out this video over here in which I debunk 10 of the most common myths about DevOps. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Code Dave.